what up what's good man everybody out there welcome back to the man cave podcast where we talk sports sports and more sports nothing but sports <laughs> you already know who it is big mike jae back in the building once again on a tuesday once again yeah. on a tuesday <laughs> <laughs> yeah my Monday's weird, man. <laughs> yeah, Monday is weird, man. Now, because Saturday it ain't that ain't no business day, so it's a lot of stuff you can't do on Saturday. So man. Monday, a lot of stuff be happening. So I don't worry. So no, whatever I'm day doing. it is, that's the day because it's ours. We own it. We can. It is whatever we whatever want it to day. be. So whatever day we do it, that's the day that it is. But <laughs> Wednesday will always be Wednesdays. Shout out to us, uh, Sideline Sports. You already know. Check them out. Here we are. The YouTube handle, the Twitter handle. Give yes, them a sir. Show. Let's go, talk go, sports. Go, yes, sir. Big things happening over there with with them, us, LTS. Yeah. Well, big yeah. things. We yeah yeah for sure. So make sure y'all check them out. Tune in. But we got some sports news, man. You know, not you know, of course, outside of it. Hey, you know what's so, up? Yeah, we'll get to that, man. <laughs> the PGA, bro. They had the a the a. We gonna we gonna get to it. We gonna get to it, man. Because right. we was talking about it a long time ago when it first happened, and you see what they done done, and what's about to happen. Have you you heard about it? Right. We can talk about it right now. Talk about it. Yeah, I, I, I might have read a little bit on it. I've been. Well, they got a, they they talking about merging with 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 <laughs> live though, because these golfers they don't get they don't care about the penalties that the PGA is giving them. They don't care. I can go over here and make twenty million right now. I'm good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like. So now, now PGA wants said, all right, screw it. We'll give you some money, but we want your bag. Well, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but how you what, what you think about that though? Like, or like, cause that's that's hard as fuck. That's what that big. is. Yeah. That's hard you as got this. PGA. You lost a lot, a lot of good ass golfers to the live tour. And then you were telling them they couldn't play on the major tournaments and they couldn't do this and they weren't eligible yeah. for that. And they just didn't give a shit because guess what? green speaks everything yes, and that's does. that's what it was man all that money and yeah if they're going to pay now good that's good for independent people though people that yeah. own their stuff independently man you see you make some noise the big boys come in and they want to they want to invest yeah, they want to chunk right. or they want to own your shit you better do it the right way <laughs> we license and stuff over here but that's big though man they didn't care about the penalties they didn't care about none of that because i'm gonna go over here and make all this money if even if i don't get to play in the pga against fine i gotta go through so much to get what they gonna pay me in one in one you know what i mean one match like that is yeah. crazy but they knew what they was doing though we got all this money like that's that's over there you know what i mean so they they got a lot they like trillionaires and stuff like that. Like now there's a whole new sets of courses and stuff all over the world. Yeah, they, they can do that they can though. Everywhere now. They got the money to do that and they can just pay you just to pay you. Like we don't even care. We ain't even worried about no bottom line, no back end, no nothing. We just gonna pay you. There it is. We just we just yeah, you know what I mean? We trying to get into the mainstream. That is great for independence. Yeah. That hey, keep that in mind, man. They, they that's big right there. That is big. That's they literally big. call each golfer up and say, what kind of bag you want your money in? And they yeah, put that shit yeah. in there. What you want to come play. And then it's also a purse that you can win on top of that. Yeah. 
that's the crazy part because they was paying them just to come and they could win some stuff. Like it's you get your personal bag and then you got a big Bro, bag. Like, <laughs> the PGA, like, yeah, we messing up. But see, and now I like that though, because and it's a lot of other places that like they really rich, like they really, really rich, but they love sports. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they not looking at no bottom line. No, we'll start this, whatever it is, this league, whatever, and we just gonna pay everybody because we want everybody here. We want everybody happy. We want to show y'all how we really do it instead of trying to, how can we make the most money? No, we already got the money. That's the difference in, in that in the PGA. You got people funding that. You know what I mean? They got their own money. It ain't nobody. And rules and shit. Yeah, no, ain't none of that. Crazy. Nah, they, cause they regulated got, and now. You know, PGA banks and all that stuff is involved in all these businesses. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like banks is involved. So they don't got that. No, it's all of our straight liquid, our money. We do what we want with it. A bunch of yes. Arabian princes. And yes. All buddy. that stuff saying, yes. what's up? Come they own way. lands and countries and stuff like that. Oil fields. Everything. Oil fields. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they don't care about none of that, man. What you need, 30 million? Come on here, take this. And then we plan for 20 million over here. So you can make 50 million right now. Like, <laughs> Like I'll throw that thirty million in a shoebox with a brand new pair of shoes. You know what I mean? Like straight cash, straight cash too. Straight yeah. cash. You know they ain't. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's. I seen that. I was like, this is a different world we living in, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where an independent source can come in, do some shit, and boom, they you end up. Go get them because if they take over, then you lose everything. But you see, but but think about this: the XFL, the USFL, they they trying their hardest. They they done failed a few times and everything, but you got this golf tournament that just comes in one time. They ain't failed before. This is the first time they've done this, and now they about to do a deal, a merger deal with the PGA. What does that say about is golf really one of the biggest sports? Not they say a lot of people don't watch it, but if that can happen, and you got two football leagues, or is football, or or is the NFL just that big? It's it's more of that. It's more of the players in the NFL. If they would switch, if they would say, you know what, screw this and That's go to one of those leagues, that would be the, the difference. catastrophic kicking the balls to the NFL. And be like, oh, yeah. hold on, like it happened back in the day. Flutie and all them were in, in yeah. the USFL and all that stuff. And then they're yeah. like, oh, shit, we got to do something about this. And yeah. that's when they tore the USFL down and brought everybody back. So if they, so if, so if the Saudis or somebody that's super dumb rich just said, I'm going to take this football league, pay everybody above everything. And then they see all these these players that ain't as good as them making way more money than them. They're going to leave their you team. You got that? Then you're going to leave the NFL. Then you're getting all the stars coming out of college. They ain't even going to the NFL. Nah, fuck your draft. Yeah, yeah. We're going <laughs> over here. We're going over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, see, okay. That's how it's going to work. One day I mean, that might happen. That would be crazy. Listen, I'm shocked it hasn't happened for basketball because basketball is huge everywhere right now. Yeah. Like, you got leagues everywhere. But I mean, everywhere. you can see China does their thing. Taiwan's got well, their everywhere. Thing. So you Everywhere. do have superstars in those leagues, but it's not it, – it'll never rival the NBA. But Rest little foreign kids over there playing basketball on milk crates and stuff just like we used to do back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Committed players are needed to keep it together. You know, mama always show up, man. <laughs> <She is. laughs> always. Every time. I love it. Yeah, every time. And that's true, though, because if you can't get – some of the top guys, not even all of them. If you can get like two of them, three of them, like the top guys, the face, like, all right, I'm gonna go over here and make this money because they're gonna give it to me right now, guaranteed. I don't have, I don't, no incentives, no nothing. They giving me this money right now. I'm out of here. But, but let's <laughs> say this let's say Stroud and Bryce Young have amazing four years, like ball out type stuff, right? Well, that's perfect because before you even say that. That's in my notes, right? That's like the perfect segue. Like I know because I was going you, somewhere else with this. That is crazy <laughs> that you said that. Go ahead, finish what you said. That's dope. So, What's good? What's good? So, uh, Stroud and Bryce have an amazing four years. You know, they got that option or whatever, and yeah. all of a sudden that league starts up over there, and they're like, "Hey, listen, we'll pay you all this." I bet them boys dip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. That's that's what it's <laughs> going to take. Stars. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's going to take for something like that to happen. I mean, I, I like watching football when the NFL ain't going on. So I hope something can happen to where they can at least get off the money, money, money. Because you know the owners own the league because they own the teams. You know what I mean? And so it's individual people 
that own this league. So, you know, you got egos, all that. I want the money. I want the money. Some people don't even want to win. Some people only want to sell tickets. You know what I mean? They, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But you said uh, CJ and Bryce. So that's going to go into I want to do a uh, who uh, had, who you think has the better season this year. And uh, you, So you saw the same thing I was saying, right? Are we going off what we saw? Yeah, pretty much, kind of. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, but I pick my, I pick my own little. You know what I mean? But uh, start with Bryce, Bryce and the Panthers, or CJ and the Texans. See them, them two. I think are going to be the two. Yeah. But if I had to pick, who has the better what careers? How no, doing no it? season, just this, this season. season, just this season. Huh. Dang. You can go into you. You can explain some stuff offensively, whatever you got to do. You listen. You, how, how I look at it right here is, and this is not me being a homer. This is by far me being a homer to CJ. Yeah, and the Buckeyes. Yes, sir. I just think he has all the intangibles. Like I, yeah. I already said before, dude, he has the height, he has yeah. the arm and the power, he has the speed Accuracy. with his his feet if he wants to run. And that boy doesn't ever want to run, so his pocket presence. No, is he don't ever need to run. Crazy. He doesn't. He don't ever his, need to run. His pocket presence is amazing. So he yeah, high yeah. steps, back steps. He knows how to move in the pocket. Ball placement. His accuracy in ball placement, ball placement is key. Yeah. And that team has a good young core. They have some good young players that on both sides of the ball. I mean, yeah. they got Willie Anderson Jr. too, who's going to headline and captain that D. And then again, you got Stroud being Stroud, right? And new. New head coach, who I think I love. I love Demarco Ryan. I think he's gonna be good over there. Oh yeah, D'Amico. Yeah, see me personally, man. I, I know I got the Buckeye stuff on and all that, man. And I, it's only realistic that I pick CJ because I watched him. But I'm only going by the team itself, and I think uh, the Panthers are just a little bit further than the Texans are. So I think I think individually, CJ will probably throw. He'll probably have a better season. Just maybe slight, they'll be right there, you know what I mean, for rookie of the year, I think. But I think the Panthers will, the team, the Panthers will probably have a better season than the Texans because they just got a little bit more. Defense is a little bit better. The offense is the is what's going to tell me a lot, you know what I mean? Because they let well, remember Carolina lost, more is gone. lost the wideouts. Yeah, D, yeah, a couple guys is gone, but I don't I think that's I don't think that's gonna be a problem though because Bryce Young is good. I don't think he's better than CJ. Like I said, individually, I think CJ will have the better season, but the team, I think the Panthers will finish with a better record. And just they both probably missed the playoffs, but I think the Panthers will finish with a, a better record. They'll have a better season. I think they're both trash. Yeah, I, I me too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think right I don't now, yeah. Play. Three I mean, years. Don't they sniff the playoffs. Year three, though. Year three. Year three. Both of those teams is gonna be good if everything go. If they keep everything together and D'Amico, you know, everything go like you need to go. The Panthers add some more stuff in the off season next after this season, or you know, even before the season, they still can do some stuff right now. So, hey, hey, I'm gonna hot take this right now. You said rookie of the year, right? Mm-hmm. One of them two guys. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's either one of them. Offensive, think, you know it's offensive. Rookie. I don't think it's either one of them on that either. Who who are you going I with? I know who I, that's what I was about to say. I already know who I got. <laughs> yeah, Bijan Robinson, because dude, the yeah, way they amped that team up over there, yeah. offensive line got amped yeah. up. They have the yeah. weapons on offense. Yeah. Ritter's gonna be a whole nother aspect, and their defense is solidified now. I think they win the damn division. And and me too. And you know what's so crazy? They're gonna have to, he's gonna have to be good. They're gonna have to rely they're, on him because they're Ritter a one is, heavy team. Well, it's Ritter's first year as a starter, so they're gonna have to rely on him. He is gonna be rookie of the year. He might be uh he might lead the league in rushing yards and everything. He might be the top running back as a rookie, like Zeke was. Zeke was a, like he was a top running back uh, as a rookie. Well, he'll be up there, yeah. He'll definitely be up. There. Well, I think he I think he'll be a, a top three running back this as a rookie because they're gonna he's gonna have to be. They're gonna have to play through him. And then, you know, as the season go on, if Ritter progress and all of that, you know. Thing, things might look a little different, but I think that Bijan is going to be rookie of the year because of that factor. They he has to be well, for yeah, them to be successful. And he can catch the ball. That that's his main thing. He'll be able to go out. So there you don't think Derek Carr and the Saints going to do nothing? Hell no. <laughs> I don't think that the, that division's trash. Look at Baker. He's overthrowing people at practice. Bucks yeah. trash. Yeah, trash. And oh, you got yeah, Bryce Baker. Young and the Panthers, who I believe. <laughs> 
don't have the pieces they need right now. What you expect from Baker though? Baker starting in Tampa. I know who the hell else they gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy that we talking of that. It's like that with him now. It was funny. They Number just, one overall pick. <laughs> like it's crazy that we talking about him like this. Like, listen, he just had a uh, a camp, a football camp, put it on down there in Tampa. I don't know if anybody even showed up to the damn thing. They went on one of the he, he orchestrated it. Yeah, it was his camp. It was wow. Baker Mayfield football camp. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, because they said his attitude sucked, man. I heard that before. I heard that a lot. You saw what he does. He grabs his balls, plants the flag in the O. Yeah. That's what Baker is. Nothing. Listen, that is why I told you during the season, I said Baker needs to leave the NFL and go be the superstar he is in the XFL. In the XFL. He could have went there and made millions being a cocky. Mm. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> See, you're right. You're right. You're he could right. have been the man over there. That would have been he, he would have been what Stone Cold and The Rock were in the WWE. That would have been him in the XFL. Well, he needs to go. He, that needs, swag. he need to go over there and do that, dear man. Yes, cause. he does. I bet next year he does. He get the Tampa Bay. He might not make it through the first three ge- games in Tampa. They might say, "Hey, screw it." All right, <laughs> you're right. this dude. <laughs> all right, Forty uh, ers or Vikings? Better season. Oh. And the only thing that's making me hesitant about that, the only thing, is the fact of Brock Purdy. Is he going to yeah. be back and healthy? Is he going to play like he did yeah. play? Yeah. That that's what hesitates with me Elbow. with the Niners. Yes, that that's that's what screws me up with the Niners because uh, without him, I don't. I, I yeah. well, it's Trey Lance though. It's not Brock Purdy. It's Trey Lance. Yeah, but Brock Purdy should have that starting job. Not Trey no, Lance. he shouldn't. Trey Lance got hurt. Just like Brock Purdy got hurt, Trey Lance got hurt. He never played. He got hurt. He never really played. He got hurt. Brock That's showed what Brock could do. No matter. You still ain't seen from the guy that you paying that money. Hey, listen, to. If they, hey, listen, if they do Trey Lance, and I'm gonna go Vikings. Yeah, you're not paying. You're not paying Brock Purdy. But I think, I think, I think, uh, I think the 49ers, man, I do because I think Trey Lance is. I think he's gonna be a good quarterback. I really do. He can use his legs. And that's gonna be the you difference in all of this shit. I'm going to change my answer. I'm going to go Niners, too, and there, there's two reasons well, for this. Defense still there. The two reasons, defense, their defense is it's still there. Exactly, it's amazing. Defense. They, they got McCaffrey. Yes. They got Debo. They, they run got Payne Ayuk. They right. still got your boy Kittle. Debo. My problem is with the, with the Vikings is what are they doing playing with Dalvin Cook? What, why are they not doing something with this man? There's got to be a team that wants Dalvin. Why doesn't nobody want Dalvin? Because Dalvin is not the same productive running back that he's been in the past. He That's, could be in a different scenery. I, I don't know, man. I know I, a team that really needs him, but he could be. You If you run him 30 times, but then it's like you're risking injury, you know, overworking him. I mean, you paying these guys this money. That's the thing about running backs. That's why they don't like paying them because you got to run them into the ground to really get the production except for the good ones. Their first couple years, their first like three years, they're going to be great. But after that, it's going to be some injuries it's going to slow down because they bang in a lot. You got to run them in the ground. It's, you have it's, to. It's crazy that they think Matson's going to be a, a three down back and every down back pretty much. No. Which I, I again. He will, but is it going to be the effective? The only reason though? he can be is because he can catch the ball out the back. But is it going to be effective, though? That's And that's the problem. That's I think, the problem. I mean. Because you, you could you be got, doing you got your right outs. You, you got some weapons. It's just now. When the lights come on, Kirk Cousins doesn't know how to throw the ball anymore. They don't know how to play. Their right. defensive, their defense is, you know, average at best. I just, I don't know. I I'm really wondering. don't know. I, I think they could have a good year, but it's – if it's Niners them, it's got to be Niners just based on all the weapons. Trey all Lance, weapons. Can, all he's got to do is hand the ball off. I know. And see, another thing is he runs. His legs is a weapon. That's different when you got McCaffrey in the backfield. You got Debo still. That, that's all he could be you know, in the backfield. Got, yeah. you know, come on, man. Like Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, I mean that's why I think it's gonna be different. Brock Purdy, he'll kill you from where he gotta kill you from, but you see what happened to him. You can't get out the pocket when you need to. You now your elbow messed up because you had to, you know what I mean? He, he didn't different. want to move, he didn't want to run or do anything. Exactly. And Trey Young is gonna Trey Lance is gonna get away from that. 
Well, what's funny is he did that in college. Brock was running in college. I don't know why he stopped. Oh, he was killer. I, I love Brock. Iowa State, he was killing. Iowa State, it yeah, I love Brock in college. He was killer. He won a lot of games. They probably yeah. should have won. If he wasn't on the team, they wouldn't have won those games. Oh, hell no. Hey, hell, hell no. Iowa no. State still be the bum ass. All right, so we going. So we going. So we going. Niners. Yeah, Niners has got to be the right. Oh, Niners, Jets, Cowboys. Which one has the better season? Shit. Ah. Got it. I'm. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is a killer one because. And we doing part two next week, though. Listen, if you just look at the divisions, right? Yeah. You got the Jets who have Miami. Yeah. Tough. Miami. Buffalo. Buffalo. Tough. Yeah. Then you got Patriots. the sorry ass Patriots. <laughs> then you got the sorry ass Patriots, but you don't know because Bill O'Brien could bring Mac Jones back to relevancy, and that could be they could be that average team that I might get you. I don't think then they go that. Belichick the- ain't what y'all think, what everybody think he is. No, I think this is his last year. I think he's done after this. Listen to this. Before you go, before you finish, Belichick is just like Popovich to me. Popovich ain't won since he had, you know, he ain't won without Tim Duncan and them. But they still say he one of the greatest coaches ever. I, I think he's an amazing coach. I think he's I probably- think so, but they ain't done nothing since. They've been trashed since that 2014 that was they got a championship, but that was everybody. Oh, yeah, everybody. he hasn't won no championship. He, I mean, he he's been in the playoffs and he's took teams that shouldn't have been anywhere yeah. somewhere. But I don't know about that. You got to win something for it to be relevant of anything. He's top ten though, pop definitely top ten. Oh yeah, hell yeah. So I mean, so Yo, Belichick, he got eight championships. He got two as a defensive coordinator. So, but also he yes, he's definitely a, a top coach. I'm yeah. not taking that from him. He got the accolades, but if you look at what he's done. And also with Tom Brady, they had a 10-year drought where they didn't do nothing. You know what I mean? Like a lot of stuff, just some stuff to look at. I ain't saying I'm well, – Why? And I get that. And I think that was a yeah, lot you of – You can finish on the uh, Cowboys, Jets. And then you had the Cowboys, right? You look at that division. Holy shit. Again, it's kind of along the same lines of what the Jets got to deal with because you got the Giants. Uh, Nothing coming young team. Not and really worried don't about look the past them, boys. Not worried about the Giants. Now Danny Dimes got his boy. He's got Darren Waller over there. You still got some – you got Saquon. You still got some good wide receivers. You got to do it again. That was and one defense, season. You got to do it again. defense is where it's at for me. He not even about the offense, again. defense. Then you got Philly. Philly did not change. They, they yeah, I think Philly's they Philly, yeah. yeah, Philly's Philly. And then, I mean, you got – not the Patriots, pretty much Washington Redskins. Okay. Yeah, no. but the problem is, is dude, they love their boy over there. They love Sam Howell. But the enemy, we got to. They, I think they weakness might be the enemy unless he can be it because he never called plays in Kansas City. That's so see, we that gonna see. Be the difference because see. you got Sam Howell and Scary Terry loves Sam Howell. He says, dude, he swears by the man. So yeah, if that becomes a good connection. They have Brian Robinson, everybody back. They have Gibson. You got a good tandem there. You you got some weapons over there, but again, that defensive line, that whole thing's scary as hell. Yeah. I mean, I'd be scared Great as hell to go against them boys, but yeah, 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 yeah. But who so so the best so, the best God, and then you got Rogers. Yes, the Cowboys, man, and uh and uh Michael Parsons, he compared their defense in 2023 to the 2000 Ravens who won a Super Bowl. I don't th- – we, we we about to get right to that, but did you hear – we going to get – Mama, we going to get right to that. Yeah, no, I heard what you said. Did you I, what I, I that's, said? That's what Before I'm shaking my head at, like, no. You can't compare on, yourself man. to them boys. Trent Dilford didn't win that Super Bowl. Ray Lewis didn't that win that Super Bowl. Did. Ed Reed. Yeah, Ed Reed, yes. yes. Ray, Ray, Lewis. Lewis. Ray Lewis. Uh, was Ray Lewis was the MVP. Ray Lewis was MVP, bro. Dude, them boys was nasty. I see what he's trying to do, though. That's nasty. not – no. No, so I'm she your mom said cowboys. I mean, no, she uh, said the Jets. who who you got? She said the Jets. I know she said the Jets. Who you got? Who gonna have a better season? You just you just said some stuff. So with all that being said, who who gonna have a better season? You gotta consider Dak is uh I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Jets. I'm okay. going with the J E T. Aaron Rodgers is their quarterback and Dak is their quarterback. I'm going with the young talent on both sides of the ball with the Jets and Aaron Rodgers leading it. And I'm going with I'm going with the Jets too because they Sauce already the number one cornerback in the NFL and he was only a rookie last year and he was the number one quarterback so going into this season he's still that I think Brees Hall gonna have a big season this year too yep. Garrett Wilson 
it's gonna be crazy out there. I, I'm Corey going Davis, to, dude. They got think, a, a now see the, over there. Yeah, and I and I think Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> he has a chance. He has a chance to come in, win his division because Josh Allen, he does too much. I don't think the Bills is. I don't think they going nowhere until Josh Allen does what Josh Allen does instead of trying to run and do no sit get get them passes off. Stop their problem. Run. Their problem isn't going to be him. it's going to be an internal problem because Diggs it's already be, an internal Diggs problem. Diggs is going to cause more problems there. Than he what don't want to be there. Yeah, he don't. It's going to be problems, and that's going to cause that collapse over there. Yeah, he don't want to be there, and it, and I think it all started that 13 second loss to the Chiefs two years ago. In the playoffs, man, I'm telling you, because after that, we heard a lot of stuff Diggs was saying after that. Mad as hell. You know what I'm saying? 13 seconds. We go down, we do our job, and the defense give up a touchdown in 13 seconds. I think that's when it started. That's why I think the Bills is not going to do what people think they're going to do, and they keep putting them – they keep having them in high regard, man, like – and it's just crazy to me. But I'm going with the Jets because I think Aaron Rodgers, he got something to prove. He got a chance to go win his division, actually. Go yeah. win your division, and he you can make some noise. But once you get to the Bengals and the Chiefs, and depending on what the Ravens do and the Browns and stuff like that, you know you got some teams to run into. But speaking of those two, Ravens or the Browns, and don't even look at it like because the Browns is your team. And when we do the Bengals and whoever next week or whatever, I'm gonna look at it the same way. So I know that's your team, but just try to be you know subjective. Even I mean, if it is the Browns, it's be listen. I, I I am gonna pick the Browns, and the reason why is the Browns' offseason moves made them way better than they've been in years. Yeah, Watson, just watching him, the lately, massage parlor bandit, dude. He looks so comfortable, having fun. More Cooper, people yeah. are catching the ball, and I swear it's coming down to. And I keep hearing it, Mary Kay Cabot. Different people are saying D Hop's coming, coming the fir- coming. I think right before the camp starts, right or coming soon. Yeah, he's coming. So if that happens, then that team defensively is already set up. I mean, you'll be injured by week three, though. You got your line, dude. Zadarius Smith. I just watched a video of him and Garrett going after each, going at each other. Yeah, cop competing. Zadarius was getting off the line quicker than Garrett. See, Imagine. that's what's crazy to me. Zadarius was probably uh, outside of Orlando uh, Brown Jr. to the Bengals. That I'm telling you, that was a big one. Yeah. Zadarius Smith with Miles Garrett. That's nasty, what? dude. And then you have the people to Come back on. them up. But that's you got what they, to back them up. Yeah. You got fresh legs to come in. Yep. Thomason of Stuff the run. Yeah, oh, that's what they man. thought they was getting with Javon Clowney, but it didn't work out like that. But they found their guy, and I'm telling you, this right here is gonna be different. That defense, it's gonna be hard because you got to worry about both of them, and you can't double team both can't of double. them. Yeah, can't double. You know what I mean, unless you always keep a tight end in there, you can't do much. Yeah, unless you play two tight end set, and you're you got to. You're gonna have to. Like, and that's what I need us to do. And we we brought in Herb, so that's what I need us to do when we play y'all. Because I'm worried about playing y'all's defense. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Both of them on. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. So you picking the Browns? Yeah, I'm anxious to see what the Ravens gonna do. I think Zay Flowers is gonna be a really good wide receiver. Odell, Odell's Odell, but how long is he gonna be healthy? You know what I mean? That's how long? Cool. How long is he gonna be productive when he's not getting the ball? Because you're not you playing with Lamar Jackson. He's gonna be running a lot. Yeah. He's gonna do that regardless. Because if ain't nobody open, he out of there. Or if he don't think so, he you and they run the ball a lot. So Odell gonna have to take on like take on a different role. He got to get out of his head because he he's known for not being productive when he's not getting the ball. You're not that guy no more. I'm sorry. They still got Rashad Bateman, a few other guys. You know they got some good guys. You know what I mean? And I think you still got Andrews. Andrews is your yeah, good number one. Mark Andrews. Yep. So I'm gonna go with you and pick the Browns. I think the Browns will have a better season because you know chemistry and stuff like that with the Ravens is it's gonna be a problem and. Is, is, is Lamar going to be healthy? Because two years in a row, he, he just disappeared, you know what I mean, at the end of the season because of an injury. So I'm going to go with the Browns too because I think the, Deshaun Watson is about to show everybody he still does – Deshaun Watson, uh, I believe he's still the same player that he was in, in, in Houston, and he could probably be even better. No injuries, no none of that stuff. Like it was just some crazy better offensive line, better weapons, better offensive line, running back, Woo. strong defense though. Yep, strong defense. That's the key to all of this success. The Super Bowl, 
if you want to do any of that, you got to stop the other team from scoring. So if Deshaun don't got to go score 40 points or 30 points or whatever, if he can go score 24 and win the game, that's perfect for any quarterback. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, you know, because Deshaun will go out there and get you what you need him to get. But if you, if you got to go out there and you got to always – Outscore 40 burgers all the time. It's just, yeah, if you got to always out, yeah, you can't if you playing games trying to outscore people or playing from behind is another yeah, thing. that's that's the big you're one. If you're always playing from behind, that means you're throwing that ball in the arms yeah. getting worked. And you know, and the Browns defense will will keep that from happening because it's not gonna be a lot of touchdowns scored if the defense shows up on paper. It, it, y'all should be y'all should be right behind the Bengals, or we should be right behind the Browns at the end of the season. We one should a, one B touchdown. Playoff. We should make the playoffs, but if the Ravens come out and ball out too, and we all split one, one, all three could be up in there. All end up in there, you know what I mean? So that's still a scenario that I'm that that could happen. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the Browns in that one too. And uh, the last one I got right now is the Jags or the Bills with Trevor Lawrence improving, looking like he's supposed to look. He's looking like a future face of the NFL with along with Mahomes and Burrow and Allen and all these guys. Uh, Herbert, if that Herbert can ever come along, so the Jags or the Bills, better season. Well, we already talked about the Bills' demise and how Allen doesn't know how to do what he should do, and Diggs talking all that shit, Be- yeah. becoming the next Odell by ruining teams from the inside. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the Jags, and here's the one reason why: Calvin Ridley Jr. Yeah, this boy is I so high to play oh, ball. Yeah. I mean, and Trevor Lawrence looked. Great. Sunshine looked amazing. You had Travis Etney looking good. They have uh, Ingram over there, that tight end looking ballerish. Yeah, Evan Ingram. Yeah, yeah. Marvin Jones. But, dude, Calvin Ridley. Yeah. And that defense, dude, that defense was prime too. But Calvin Ridley, that boy's going to have easily a 1,000 yards receiving. He's going to ball out. I'm with you on the Jags, but I'm, 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 my X factor is Marvin Jones Jr. Because Marvin Jones – he takes all the pressure off of Calvin Ridley. So it, who you got to double? They going to probably double Calvin Ridley. Yeah. They probably going to double team him more than they double team uh, Marvin Jones. So Marvin Jones got the same opportunity to go out there and be a thousand yard receiver. Oh, he can. Yeah. 10 plus touchdowns, big plays. Like it's going to be a lot of big plays in Trevor Lawrence. As long as he cut down on the interceptions. Now he got an interception problem. He could he could end up being like Josh Allen or one of these guys that just throw a lot of interceptions. They're good, great quarterbacks, but they just overthink stuff. Yeah. Kind of like Baker, you overthinking everything. You will have a great game for three quarters, get to the fourth quarter, and now you're trying to be out be a hero. And it's like, no, just play within the system. And if Trevor Lawrence play within the system, I think the Jags is definitely gonna have a good a better season and make the playoffs and win in the first round. Sunshine depending, can definitely do it, man. That yeah. boy, he's depending a boy. on who they play, though. Depending man. on who they play. I mean, they should have won that game. Yeah. yeah. The Jags. Well, well, to see the thing is, you you just how the game went, you can't you can't you can't turn the ball over that many times. I don't know. And they did it all in the second half and let that let I think you go uh, win the game. You know, you yeah, go for it like you it's you're not win not against them. They had the Chiefs beat. Yeah, you ain't winning against them if you throw four interceptions. Like, yeah, if you do the that. First half, he threw four interceptions. Oh, yeah, it was the first half. They tried to come back and they, they yeah. couldn't get back. Yeah, See, no, they know. came back and they only lost by six. It was That's like I'm saying they came back, but they didn't take the game like they should have. Right. They should have right. had yeah. that game was theirs. But that they first half. Back. And that's what I was saying. I was that's, what, that's exactly what I was saying. It, it, that first half, if Trevor Lawrence came out comfortable, because you could tell in the second half he was comfortable, even yeah. though he threw four touch or four interceptions, he was comfortable. He was ready to play. He wasn't nervous. None of that. Just let's let's go play within the system. Let's go, let's go ball. It he out. does that in the first half. The Jaguars win, and then the Bengals end up in the Super Bowl because the Jags was not beating us. I'm sorry, it just wasn't happening. But yeah, but I'm just saying, like. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence, they missed one. They missed one. That was his time to to show up and take the take the helms. Because you know, after even if he would have got to the uh to the AFC championship and lost, that's still, still big move. That'll put him above Josh Allen. That was that's big moves, yeah. Allen. For real. Because Josh Allen ain't been there yet. Yeah. That'll put him above Josh well, Allen. He won the AFC championship game. I mean, yeah, yeah, he did. You're right. That's the one he yeah, that's right. The one. He lost to Pat Mahomes, yeah. That was the coin flip. 
Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. But man, bro, like he they missed one. But yeah, the Jags they definitely did. They, they, they had their opportunity was there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh Zeke, man. Jerry Jones talking about bringing him back. He doubled down on it too. You might as well. You got Tony Pollard, and who Locked knows what happens there? Because they got back? they got another running back that they're gonna play with Tony Pollard. Locker room president. They said he was a locker room guy. He is, and that's the thing. His presence, Dak loves him. The team loves Zeke. Yeah, yeah. But Zeke's looking good. You see some of them workout videos. He looks monsterish. He looked good enough to go get three yards of carry. <laughs> You know what I mean? Zeke, that's where you at. <laughs> man. That's where you at. It's like, they going to out the boy like that. I accept it, man. I love it. bringing back his half. He's so, cutting off that mid. The mid there. He's starting running. <laughs> that's the one guy, though, man. He might, he might need to just get stronger, get in the weight room, get stronger, get get a little bigger, and just run people over like you've been. For a while, I thought the too. Browns going to bring him in for a minute. I'm like, damn. Nah, man, that's too much. That's and that's what I said. I said, we don't need him. He He's the same. Chubb and him are the same players. They, they don't need another – Chubb. Chubb's better than him, but they didn't need another guy to be just like Chubb. Yeah, they trying to overload, man, but that's enough on football, man. We got to get to these NBA finals, man. Finals. Game one, the Nuggets came out and they played it. You know what's so crazy? Even though they won game one, in game. It, even though they won game one, they still didn't look like they should have won game one. Listen, no, but they played a team game in game one. Everybody played. <laughs> And the Heat couldn't make no shots. Uh, Struess was 0 for 9, 0 for 10 for the – They couldn't – him sucked. They sucked. Yeah. Game. Trash. They, they couldn't make no shots, man. And 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 you know what's so crazy? But just you got to look at how – I'm just looking at how this shit played out. The Nuggets had to play a great game. Like, they had to play a perfect game. Everybody hitting. And, and the, the game plan they used, Aaron Gordon, he was – the mismatch was crazy how they was doing that. And he was yeah. just bodying his man in the paint. You know what I'm saying? Body, uh, bucket, uh, bucket, uh, give me this, uh, bucket. Yucky, Jokic getting all these assists. Porter Jr. doing his thing. They, that yeah. was team, it was a team game. Like, yeah, it was great. And Miami couldn't buy a bucket. But in game two, you seen what Spoelstra did. He had Love out there. So Love could end up on Aaron Gordon. And that, that changed everything. You know what I mean? Michael Porter Jr. didn't even show up in that game. Nope. Jamal Murray didn't even show up in that game. They say that team. Because Jimmy, Jimmy was able to guard him. Listen, coaches even say the Nuggets don't go as joke goes. They go as Murray goes. Because Murray, the reason why they beat the Lakers and in, in by as close as all them games was, Jamal Murray averaged 35 points a game. Murray killed it. Joe could get 40, but the problem is, is he needs matter. somebody else. Jokic never never even scored 40. He never well, even he scored 40 this last game in the Don't Heat talk game. about it in the, in the Western Conference Finals. They contained him for the most part. Yeah, he was getting his numbers, but he wasn't going 30 this and 40 that or none of that. Murray was going 30 this, 37, 35, 30 this. Yeah, because they were too keyed in on Joe. That was their problem. They should yeah. never been like that. Now, Spostra with his game plan, you know what I mean? He had Love in there. He changed his starting lineup. Love Love had Gordon. That allowed Jimmy Butler to guard Murray. And Murray, if you don't let Murray get off, the Nuggets won't win the game unless Michael Porter Jr. go get 30-something points. We just don't see that from him. He he not clay. And they, they shouldn't even have him because, what, eight, nine teams passed on him? And yeah. then he failed to the Nuggets? Like, they got lucky, but – He's just not. I don't think he consistently can be that guy for them. And I think, I think tomorrow night, I think Miami will win the game. I think Miami gonna come out there and they will win. I, th- I don't think the Nuggets getting the chip. I don't. I don't. Now, I, now with Spolster coaching, if he keeps coaching that way, making those changes like he needs to, there is no way the Nuggets get a chip. Do None. you see? Do you see Bam Adebayo out there looking like a superstar? I mean, Jokic ain't he ain't a, a, he ain't been a big defensive liability, but he he letting Bam look like a whole different player. See, but Bam's Bam, <laughs> Bam's a finesse dude. He's got great footwork, and he can shoot that mid range real well. That that's why Bam's got joke on the reels right there. See, the thing is, man, joke, my, don't, joke don't jump. If you notice, he doesn't. No, he jump. never jumps. He don't never jump. jumps. The thing is, though, Miami is gonna outrun you the whole game. Yeah. They always hustling. They always hustling. They it made don't 17 matter. threes this last game. 17 threes. Oh, do, you know, do you know that Miami got like the most playoff wins in like the 
since the like the last like four or five, some crazy numbers. It's crazy. But bro, like when they down, that's when they they got you. Like if you got them by 10, by the time the fourth quarter over, they win most of those games. They I think they got a winning record in games that they down. That's because they they dogs, man. They, they straight stop. dogs. They don't Jimmy stop. Buck is brings and leads that mentality, and the rest of them follow. See, it, 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 see that's they follow my, suit. They're but like, I don't even think it's Jimmy. It ain't even been Jimmy, though. That's the thing. I, I'm dude. just saying he's the lead dog. He might not be the one that does that that game. Yeah. Everybody just corrals around him and say, hey, I got this one, and yeah. he goes out and does some shit. But Jimmy will do Jimmy, but he doesn't have to be the focus all the time. Uh, I don't and even. He takes turns being focused for him. Well, oh. yeah, and, and they have four players with 20-plus points. They yes. keep doing that. So – Finals MVP probably won't be Jimmy Butler, bro, because Bam Adebayo is their best player right now. It's going to be Udonis Haslam. <laughs> They're going to give it to him. Hey, it's you because you deserve it. <laughs> uh, man, I'm just saying, like, this this, this is, ain't nobody really watching it because I ain't watched the game yet. I ain't going to lie. I got, Me neither. I'll be honest. I, I watch highlights of it. Yeah, I watch the highlights and all that. Like, I don't, why I want to watch that? They don't. I don't if need it go, hey, when it hit game six and seven, then I'll yeah, watch it's a crucial game. Yeah, like right now, I'm not watching that. Nah, but if, if Miami goes up three one, they're not they they gonna they're not gonna do what Celtics. I mean, the Nuggets can't do what the Celtics did. I the think Nuggets will not be able to do what the Celtics did. But I think I think Denver is gonna win a game in Miami though. I think it's gonna be two two going back to game five. But Miami won a game in Denver. That's the yeah. it changes every game five is not big for Miami. That shit's big for Denver. Because yeah, they have to, they have to win game, game five yeah. is a cha- game changer of all series. Yes, yes. Even if Denver win game two or game one, whatever, game five is it don't because Miami won on their court. The the mile high shit that did the elevation, the sea level shit that didn't affect them. They came out there and ran y'all out that gym almost. Yeah. They lucky that they came back like they did because Miami was up by twelve with like four or five minutes left in the game. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they left a couple people open and some shots went down. Things changed, you know what I mean? <laughs> but after two games, man, who you got in game three? Uh, I think Miami takes the first game at home. I, I think they're riding high. They're coming home. Now Denver's got to get back to use to the different, you know, everyone's saying that altitude and all that other crap. It's going to change up for them. It's a change yeah. for them. If they keep that game plan and they know how to keep Murray locked, it's – so, so game three is important because if, if Miami win game three, then the pressure on Denver is still a game in Miami. They're going to have to win game the four. The pressure's on them to win the next two. Not really, though. No, because listen, like you said, you said that the pressure will be on Denver. Even if it goes 2-2, two, two, it's still going to be on Denver to win at home, right? Yeah, game five, yeah. because so game five pressure, is still- If Miami wins game three, they have to win two in a row because if they don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they don't, then it's back in Miami for six and it's for over. Six and it's over with, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so you're right, but game five is the one. Game five. No, it's always the one. Let, listen. I, think they'll split. I think they'll split in Miami. I think they'll split just like they did in Denver. But if not, then game five, that's even more pressure on Oh, them. yeah, that's hella pressure. And it's over with. If, they just, I mean, they they good as the underdog and stuff like that. But Miami's going to let that same shit happen again that it happened in the last year. It's man, not Spol- going to happen. It's just mine, man. Spolstra, he going to have them boys prepared for every single game. They beat they beat the number one seed Milwaukee, number two seed Celtics, and they they about to knock a number one seed off in the West. That's yeah. crazy. First number, uh, first eight seed to make the finals, so they'll be the first eight seed to win the championship if they win with a bunch of undrafted players. <laughs> I they ain't even undrafted players no more though. But that, I mean that's the facts. That's the craziest. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, nah, nah, those NBA players right there. We can't bench even, ballers. That's what yeah. that is, man. Bench they, ballers. They come out there and play dunking. That came out there, scored 10 quick ass points at the store. Bro, he went. I'm like, all right. He went nuts. You saw him. He just started yeah. shooting. Yeah, 10 in the blazing. It wasn't in a row, but he 10, 10 in a little nice little short span. Yeah. Hero supposed to be back in game three. Since they won game two, do would would you bring Hero back or give him one more game? Bring him back in game four. Oh, if he's ready, bring him back. That's what I'm saying. If bring him back. Because if you take that game three again, that shit changes. <laughs> that's another. That's a. That's your three point marksman. That's, that's another dude you don't know about. You have him and Duncan in there at the same time. As well. Yeah, and then but see, Gabe Vincent, Gabe Vincent, probably he him Strauss, him, him and him and Bam out of Bayou, probably the top two players right now for MVP if Miami win. 
because uh, gay uh, uh, at the Jimmy, no matter what, Vincent <laughs> Average. I don't think so because Vincent, Aver- Vincent averaging over 20 points a game and Bam averaging like 25 or some shit or more than that. So, nah, he I don't see it. They're gonna say Jimmy Bucks. They, I know because you want to get <laughs> the superstars, you know how that go. Yeah. I don't think Jimmy been on. I think it's been a team thing. I don't know. It's really hard to say who MVP. It has been a team thing. It's been I don't think Jimmy the MVP because he had a bad game. Again, like I said, the focal point can go on any one of those guys, and everybody else just follows suit. Yeah, game one. Jimmy's Jimmy. their leader, but he could say, "Hey, it's on him. He's shooting hot. That's it. We're we're we're, we're feeding off him tonight." Or yeah. I got this. You guys are slashing a little bit. Just let me do my thing and then get open. Yeah. And that's it. But Jimmy ain't go crazy in game one, though. No, nah, he didn't. Gabe Vincent had two good ass games. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy looked horrible. So that Bam one. had two monster games. Yeah, Bam's doing his thing again. He's that's he's slim. Team. His footwork's amazing. He. I'm telling you, Jimmy. Uh, Bam is MVP right now for his team. And he could be. He very well could be. But they. But. You what if uh Jokic averaged like 40 points against these dudes, a 40 point triple double? You think they should give him MVP if they lose and they hell didn't because nah, LeBron should have got it that one year. No, nah, hell no. Nah. 2015, he should have got yeah, it. Yeah, LeBron had it that probably, year. probably 2017, he should have got it too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, nah, so they don't give the MVP to a losing guy because LeBron in 2015 West. that West. was the best. A dude could do on a losing team in the finals. I mean, that LeBron did everything, laid it all out on the line. That whole team laid it on the line. They gave it to a guy that held him. They gave it to Iggy because was, yeah. they said he stopped LeBron, but LeBron averaged a 32 point triple double almost. That's the shit. Yep, he held him. What? The 32 point triple double. That's what he held him to. The last minute of the game, they made sure he didn't score. But somebody, <laughs> but they want to give it to the winner. And it's like, bro, you got to give it to the best player, man. Like, I'm all for the winner getting the award, but man, sometimes the loser had a man. His team was just wasn't good enough. He was the best player in the whole shit, but his team just wasn't as good as your team. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's done happened a lot. Now maybe I ain't even gonna say a lot. Maybe five times that should have happened. It happened once, but four other times it probably should have happened. Oh, and yeah. that's only four out of seventy-five years of basketball. It's only four times that would have happened. You know what I'm saying? Like. So it's like if you go out there and average 40 some point triple double and they lose, I mean, he the best, he was the best player in the series. He was the MVP. Without him, they wouldn't even have had a chance. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't do it now because how history has played out. Yeah. But hypothetically, man, like that's that's something that I hope they don't start doing that because then it's a lot of dudes that's going, especially Brian. And he gonna be like, "Man, come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all owe me two Finals MVPs, we don't know, bro. At least one. <laughs> 2015 for oh, sure. 15 for sure. 15 for sure. For sure. So it's like, all right. I think you should have just gave it to him and said, "Nah, he he deserves this. That's his man." <laughs> so we got uh, the Heat, the Heat in three. I mean, Game Three. I think they gonna split. I think Heat in six, man. After after two games, I'm, I'm heat and six. This shit gonna fluctuate. I feel the same because I as feel the same. Good. I feel like they can split, but the nut. Listen, man, the Nuggets gonna have to try to win two games in a row, and I think it's gonna be hard. It's gonna yeah. be hard for them. But yeah. yeah, yeah, you got to. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be six. Like I said that's why if the Heat win Game Three. All the pressure, every bit of it's on the Nuggets to win two. Even if the Heat lose Game Four, the pressure's still on the Nuggets. I just don't it's still think on them to win at home. I don't think the Nuggets got it in them, man. No, they they don't have that dog. They don't have that. I don't think they want it more than Miami. I don't, yeah, I don't think they want it more than Miami, man. I don't. No, not more than buckets. Not more than Spolstra. Yeah. Like Pat Riley might come out the damn stands you know, and play. You better watch out, that boy. <laughs> yeah, Duncan was there. All these they was there. A few of a lot of them guys was there. You know what I'm saying? So. I, Miami and six for sure. Uh, Frank yeah. Vogel to the Suns. I don't understand. You got rid of Monty Williams to pick up Frank Vogel. Up Frank Vogel. I don't get that at all. Is that, I don't think he was a good coach. No, I think go. he was an okay coach. Yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't the reason they won a championship. Put it like that. No, that I'm not. He wasn't the reason. Not at all. Not at all. So. Nothing else. I don't think they going nowhere. No, <laughs> nowhere, <laughs> nowhere further. No further than they went this year. I don't, I don't see it. 
I don't see it. But uh, I seen something that said Jimmy Jimmy might be the best uh, playoff player because uh, he averaged like his points and all that stuff. You know, his stats is better than a lot of people's, or w- at least one of the best. Yeah. Would you think? Would you Would you say that? I would say that. One of the best playoff players. Uh, Hell yeah, Jimmy. All right, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Would you extend AD? AD got a date. The Lakers can extend his contract or just let it play out. Listen, they need to figure something out. You see, right. you you better figure out what's going on with LeBron first. Where his mindset? I ain't going nowhere. LeBron. Not that like, he's going somewhere, but where his mindset at? He make won- sure his mindset is really set on this. No, because LeBron want to win. That's all LeBron's mindset on. All that retirement stuff, that was just to take everybody's mind off this off the sweep. LeBron smart. Oh, we, we both said Miami. We both said Miami and six. Yeah, Miami and six for sure. Miami and six. But LeBron just wanted to take everybody's mind off that sweep. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all they've been talking oh, about. She said, Who do who do we want to win? Yes. I don't want nobody to win. I just I think Miami gonna win though. Hey, I listen, want I want Cavaliers. Miami to win because I want Jimmy Buckets to get the damn I want the Cavaliers to win, but they at home. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I want Miami to win because I want Jimmy Jimmy to get the trophy. I think he deserves it. I hope I hope I wouldn't be mad if Jimmy get a trophy, but I don't want no, I don't care who win. I just think Miami is they got more fight. They want to win it more. They yeah. want it more. Like they they coming. <laughs> they smell it. You know what I mean? Like it's the blood's in the air. What's crazy? If they give him the trophy and then he gets another star player like Lillard or something to go beside him next year, damn, that's unstoppable up there. Oh, Miami? Yeah. Oh no, we'll see. Lillard act like he don't want to. He, he act like he want to just lose every year. So. Well, that's why he want out of Portland. <laughs> yeah, he don't want to go yet. until he say he want out of Portland. I don't believe it. He already said it. They yeah. were talking about get him out of here. He's like, all right, make the phone calls. I'm ready. Yeah. To go. <laughs> no, he said. No, he said. No, he told him the, the fans to start a petition. That yeah. means. I ain't going nowhere unless y'all legally get me out of here. I, mean, I think he ready, man. He ain't ready to go nowhere. He wants somebody to come there, and I don't know why. The NBA ain't the same. And, 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 you don't want to go to Portland. This ain't Clyde you know, up there, man. You know, the crazy thing is the teams that win, they team and got on players. They act like, oh, I stuck with my team, and we was just good because I was there. No. Your uh, general manager went and got you a team and built you a team, and your team won. As you can see in Portland, they're not doing that. Don't nobody want to go to Portland. Leave. It ain't got nothing to do with you. I want to be loyal. I want to win it with the team that drafted me. So what? That's stupid. If the team that drafted you ain't doing nothing for you, then you got to leave. That don't make sense to me. I'm not about to be stuck with y'all and y'all ain't trying to bring nobody in and don't nobody want to come here. Y'all suck at recruiting players. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't got nothing to do with his personal stuff. Dame got to get out of there, man, and go win something, man. The NBA different. This is different. (laughs) That's funny though. <laughs> to win something, man. Hey, come on, man. He can't be that good and not win nothing, man. I, 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 yeah, I how long? You, how long you think Ja getting suspended, man? Adam Silver said he gonna wait till after the finals because he didn't want to distract they're everybody. Talking about 40 but he distracted everybody by saying that. They're talking about forty to sixty, man. He might as well be going the whole season. And they they leave him if it, if it's forty to sixty they leave in the lane for him to be the hero. Come back, get him in the playoffs, all that goofy shit. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know, man. Adam Silver don't want to have to stroke him, but he gonna have to Roger Goodell this shit, man. Because ja, I don't want him to mess up his career. You know, what hey, I'm saying? Ja, ja, Dwight Howard said, "Come to Taiwan. He got a spot for you. You can pull you a can gun out anytime." You money money. While you, yeah, while you suspended for a year, you can still go make money. Because I just go over there and stay over there. Don't ever come back. <laughs> nah, he, probably, he definitely coming back, but I just he don't. He gonna fuck up his career, man. If he, keeps I was going. job would leave and never come back. I go make all the money over there. Be done with yeah, but he ain't gonna get no two hundred million dollars over there, though. Ah, shit. He already getting a hundred and something mil from Memphis, so he's he definitely gonna get a lot of money over he there. He's going nowhere no time soon because even if they suspend him, they still own his contract and the rights to him, so he can't. Yeah, so yeah, are you over here when the contract's up? I mean, if he go over there, then he leaving all that money. They ain't gotta pay his goofy ass, so he ain't gonna do that. He, he can't get two hundred million money. over there. He, I you think know, he can. No, the next CBA is two hundred and eighty million max, fifty eight million a year. He ain't going to no damn overseas. He not getting. Dude, they that. make big money over there, man. Oh, no, they it's not. Like we talking about the Saudis. 
Them boys be paying over there. Yeah, but see, they go and make like 10 million a year or 15 million a year. Oh. We're talking about 50 a year. You're talking about yeah. shit players doing that. No, no, Stefan Marbury is one of the hottest players over there. He's making bet, more than that. I bet you he only make he ain't making more Man, than we're looking that up right ain't now. Way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. They're not paying them like that. No way. If if that was the case, then more players would do it. And the offseason players would be over there making 15, 20 million. They not doing now, nah, nah, hell no. Nah. That's why it ain't an influx of players just going to do that. Just think about the players that don't make it in the NBA, but good enough to be the best over there. They ain't going over there. Hold on. Marbury might make like 10 million a year. He ain't making no 60. Ain't nobody over there making 60 million. Oh, yeah, no, he making ain't shit over there. He ain't making shit. He ain't making that real money over. You ain't making 200. Like, I mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, see? That's in China. Yeah, that's in China. They ain't paying. Wait, see, where he making his money on is probably all the endorsements. They had nothing. To yeah, do that's what I'm saying. Money. Endorsements. That's where the money coming yeah, from. That's where the money coming from. But you ain't getting that from them. They not paying you. No way. <laughs> Game three tomorrow. We ain't gonna watch it. But we, <laughs> we ain't watching that moment. We catch the highlights and we'll report back to y'all next Monday. Tune that's in right. tomorrow. Relax Wednesdays. We are gonna talk about some bull. Shit, Top it up. <laughs> gonna be a bunch of nothing, but it's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> it's gonna be entertaining, though. That's the beauty of it all. Hey, like always, appreciate y'all for stopping by. Checking yes. out this episode of the Man K yes. Podcast, Big Mike J A E. See y'all next Monday. Salute. Salute.